Hello folks and welcome back for another video with Outdoor Adventures of Austin Miller. Up here in Venata, Ohio, I'm going to do a little crossing tour for you. This over here is the Hatfield Lane Railroad Crossing. Um, got here is your uh, cross bucks. It says yield below it. The railroad cross over here. The first cross buck. Um, line looking north. Um, your line looking south. Um, this is part of the Baltimore Ohio Railroad line, or what NS Steampunk calls it, the Lake Erie Division line. This line used to go up all the way up to Sandusky, Ohio, back in the day. But here's the other crossing signal. Well, the other cross buck, I mean, sorry. <laughs> right here it says, a sign that says no trespassing. Um, Ohio Central Railroad System. But... Maybe over here that may that, that maybe there used to be a track back through here. But real quick I'm gonna show you guys over here is that old passenger car. Can't get back hardly get back here from green grass, but see right here how it's all overgrown with brush and debris. It would be nice if they can get it out of there. Get it all painted up and all fixed. And maybe have it run on the Zanes on Western Scenic Railroad up there in uh, Mount Perry, Ohio. But it would be nice maybe if the city of Venata or the city of Newark can do something with this car. It's probably been sitting here abandoned for quite a while. Probably well before I was born. I was born in 93. 1993, so, yeah. Pretty neat looking car, but hopefully they can get it out of there and maybe put it in a railway museum or put it on the Mount Perry Scenic Railway, but. Um, maybe might see a train today. Maybe not, but. I know over a few weeks ago, I saw the Mount Vernon local as it was crossing uh, Waterworks Road uh, on a Wednesday afternoon. And uh, that was the engine I haven't caught yet. Uh, Providence of Worcester, number 2216. So that was the first time I actually caught it. So I can work that off my bucket list. Now all I'll do is catch Indiana. And Ohio Railroad Engine number 2165 running off of the local, and we're good. Um, pretty soon, Ohio Central will be running their stone trains to St. Louisville, Ohio, on this line. So, there's the first cross buck. There's the second cross buck, but this is the B&O line that goes all the way up to Mount Vernon, Ohio. Also known as the Lake, no, the Lake Erie Division. Like I said, it used to go all the way up to Sandusky, Ohio, back in the day. Via Mansfield. And uh, I know parts of this line are still used today by Hyatt Central from Newark to Mount Vernon. And then I think the Wheeling and Lake Erie Railroad uses a portion of it up, up through Willard, I think. Parts of the line are still in place up there in uh, Mansfield, but part of it's abandoned. The Ash, the Ashland Railway, also use part uses parts of it too. So. Hopefully, maybe we see a train. But if not, there's always next time. Uh, but we'll see. It's pretty foggy out, so. This has been a tour of the Hatfield Lane Railroad Crossing up here in Venata, Ohio.
If you guys like this video, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, feel free to leave plenty of likes, comments, and plenty of views on this video. Every single one means a lot. And uh, stay tuned for more, guys. God bless you all, and uh, stay safe.